What will life on our planet look like in a few decades from now? What will happen to Earth's biodiversity and ecosystems? Will there be enough arable land and fresh water to sustain life in different parts of the world? How much hotter will it get? And will humans and other species be able to adapt to live on a warmer planet? Complex questions like this have one thing in common. They all stem from one of the biggest threats facing humanity today. Climate change. Indeed, our era is defined by global environmental challenges from loss of biodiversity to over-exploitation of natural resources to overpopulation. But perhaps nothing compares to climate change in terms of impact. No part of the globe is immune to its devastating consequences ranging from rising temperatures to natural disasters to weather extremes. It will also have major social and economic repercussions. Its effect on global food and water security are even more worrying. Climate change will severely affect our ability to produce food to feed a growing population, which is expected to reach 9.7 billion in 2050. Yet we already have around 820 million undernourished people worldwide, and some 2 billion do not have regular access to safe, nutritious and sufficient food. This is why it is crucially important to speed up the discovery and development of crops that are healthier, more nutritious and resilient. And agrobiodiversity, a subset of biodiversity, holds the key to the success of this scientific endeavor. There are around 30,000 known edible plant species globally, but our food systems are unhealthily dependent on a few major crops. A mere 15 crops provide 90% of the world's food energy intake. This needs to change, as it is neither good for our health, nor is it sustainable for our planet. Food production is currently responsible for up to 30% of greenhouse gas emissions. As Earth gets warmer and arable land and fresh water becomes scarcer, our food systems will creak under the strain. The need to transform our food systems has never been more urgent and cutting-edge omics technologies such as genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, metabolomics and others will play a critical role in this transformation. They make it possible to tap into the potential of agrobiodiversity and fast-track research on the foods of the future, be they plant, animal or microorganism-based. By identifying key genes responsible for desirable traits, they can help to breed the crops that yield more, are more nutritious and resistant to pests and diseases. This is the idea behind the Desert Life Science Laboratory, a joint venture between ICBA and BGI, the world's largest genomic research institution. Located at ICBA's headquarters in the United Arab Emirates, this is a state-of-the-art biotechnological facility designed to carry out genomic research on developing crops for marginal environments. Equipped with an advanced sequencing platform, it can conduct whole genome resequencing, genotyping by sequencing, metagenomics, transcriptomics, small RNA sequencing and other studies. More importantly, through collaboration with BGI, it will support ICBA's efforts to make food systems more resilient and sustainable and thus enhance food security, nutrition and livelihoods for all in marginal environments so that no one is left behind.